This summer we went to Disneyland Paris. If you want to know about the studios part of that, watch our other video. If you want to know about the main park, this is it. Although I didn't know whether it was going to be open on the day because I'd heard there was an infestation of large mice. First thing to say, I am quite the Disney cynic. I just don't really get it. I liked it when I was a kid. Adults who like Disney, I'm a bit like, oh, really? So that was the attitude I went in with. And then I was greeted with this sort of barrage of excitement and joy and stuff. We kicked off with It's a Small World, where you go around on the little boats and all the people representing folks from all around the world sing you a song, which I'm not playing here, mainly because I don't want it stuck in your head. This is a public service to you, but also royalties. We also helped Buzz Lightyear out and went to a haunted house as well. This is the thing, all of the effects are amazing because obviously, you know, they've got a Disney budget to do it with. That's what sets it apart from other theme parks. Not a big theme park fan, but this was pretty exciting. We delved into the Star Wars bits as well, which was good, even though Darth Vader was vaguely threatening. I have expected you. But the thing you don't realise if you're not a Disney person is that every so often, like, the street just launches into song and dance and characters appear from nowhere and floats come out and that. And you know what? That was amazing. It was so over the top, it was so ridiculous. I'm so cynical about that sort of stuff, but I was there singing, tapping my feet, dancing around with the kids. Yeah, okay, it got me, I'll admit it. And then we stayed up late with the help of very sugary drinks to keep the kids' eyes open until nearly 11 o'clock when the drones came and the fireworks came. And yes, okay, it was special, I admit it. Disney cynic slightly won over.